In this lesson, we'll take a look at how we can maintain either our polygroups or our polypaint information as we use Dynamesh on our models. So let's jump back in here. And this is going to be 03 begin. And this demon model, if you want to actually go through the entire process of building this, uh, we actually have a course called Creating a Portfolio Ready Demon Concept in ZBrush. Um, Josh Crockett takes you through the entire process of building this guy up and, and creating a nice portfolio ready image for that. So if, uh, if you want to go through that process, make sure to check that out on our site. But here we're going to use this as an example of using Dynamesh with either polypaint or polygroup. So obviously we have polypaint uh, on this. There's no textures. Um, and then also we have, if we turn on our polyframe, we have a few polygroups here that I've just loosely defined around the arms. So we have polypaint and polygroups. Now normally when we Dynamesh, we don't get to keep that. But here in 4R6, we can choose to keep our polypaint information as we Dynamesh, or we can keep our polygroups intact as well. And so let's take a look at what this uh, looks like. So we have the brush icon turned on so we can see our polypaint. We'll go down to geometry, and let's choose a, a good resolution for our Dynamesh. And then we'll go ahead and hit Dynamesh. Okay. Now, saying we have multiple subdivision levels, we can go ahead and get rid of those. And now we're working with the Dynamesh object here, but we still have our polypaint. So if we take a look at our polyframe, you'll notice that we do have our Dynamesh. So if we were to come in here and kind of grab some of this detail, you can see I'm kind of stretching that out. We can remesh it, and it'll go through and kind of clean up those areas. One thing you'll notice, though, is that the polygroups aren't there anymore. Okay, so it's made one solid polygroup, but it has kept our polypaint. Okay, so we could come in here and, you know, do our our work however we want to do it. I'm not going to do anything too drastic here because it looks pretty good already. Uh, but just for our example, let's say we wanted to come in and make some changes via Dynamesh. We can keep that polypaint. Okay, then we're done and turn that back off. If you wanted to then run the Z remesher on that, which we'll talk about a little bit later, you could do that. Okay, so that kept the poly paint, but it didn't allow us to keep the poly groups. There may be instances where you want to keep your poly groups if you want to do some things like panel loops or you want to be able to define curves, things like that for inserting. Uh, you may want to keep those poly groups. And so I'm going to go ahead and go down to the next copy here. And let's go ahead and just turn this all off. On this copy, let's say that we want to keep the polygroups. So here's our polygroups. And let's say that we now want to keep those. Okay, we don't really care about the polypaint. So all we're going to do uh, differently here is we're going to turn off the little brush icon. And then we're going to do the exact same thing. So we'll come in here, set a value. We'll Dynamesh it. And then we can start to make our changes. Now, on this guy, you'll notice there's no more poly paint on him. Okay? But if we go into our polyframe, you can see that we've actually kept our poly groups. Okay? So now when we're sculpting using Dynamesh, You know, and we come in here with maybe our clay build up and we can use our auto masking and maybe kind of mask by polygroups here. And then we can come in and start to, to sculpt and you can see the sculpt is only on those polygroups. So you know, whatever function that you're trying to do, sometimes you may want to mask based on polygroups. Again, sometimes you may want to create curves based on polygroups. Whatever the reason, uh, for wanting those, you can have your polygroups maintained through the course of your Dynamesh procedure. So, you know, you sculpt up based on a particular polygroup. You come back in here, turn off Dynamesh, and you're left with your existing polygroups. So it's it's really just a matter of if you have your or brush icon on or off. If you've got polypaint on your model and you have this on, 
then you Dynamesh, you're going to be able to keep that information. If you have that turned off, then it's going to allow you to keep any of the polygroups that you may have on your model. So this can be useful as you go through concepting your, uh, your models using Dynabash. There may be instances, again, where you want to keep your polygroups and or your polypaint information. So make sure to check that out next time you use Dynamesh. Just know that you can click this, your, uh, your little icon there, and then when you Dynamesh, you'll be able to keep your polypaint or your uh, polygroups.